Hey friends, I thought I'd just show you guys today the type of food I feed my dogs and the reason I thought about this is because this morning I was going to prepare their dinner for tonight and so I got out all their, some vegetables, like this is just an example of some of the vegetables I feed them, they also get pumpkin, they get leafy greens, they get silver beet, but this is just what I'm going to give them today, okay, um, so um, so, sometimes I make their vegetables raw, other times I cook them into a soup, okay, so if I'm going to do them raw, I'll chop these up and I'll put them through the food processor and grate it all, and then so they've got like a raw grated vegetable thing, and then, and if I have them raw, if I give them raw vegetables, I generally add a few apples to sweeten the deal for them, okay, and sometimes like I'll just... Uh, cut the corn cobs off and then like just add them in you see what I'm saying so but like I said this is just an example of the vegetables they get they get all different vegetables okay just whatever's in season or whatever I've got a lot of at the time and um, so yeah sweet potato you know that's uh, zucchini and tomatoes and capsicum okay so and then with those vegetables <laughs> obviously I just wouldn't eat straight vegetables so okay they're, the dogs aren't vegan, but they probably only get 10% animal products. They get some bones and a little bit of mince to flavor their vegetables, okay? So, and I really give them, like, the, the um, organic pasta. This is theirs, and I give them organic rice. I'm very particular about feeding them only organic rice. Um like only organic, um, just to kind of give it their, their food a bit more texture and just just make it a bit more enjoyable for them. And also I give them the beans again for texture and also for added nutritional content in their diet, okay? Like I, I don't believe, just like for us, we don't, you know, we need very little protein so I think they get plenty of protein and everything that they eat but um, yeah it's more about texture and nutritional content vitamin concentrated nutri nutrients like you know vitamins and minerals and st stuff okay so so yeah and I cook I'll cook like so for dinner tonight they'll probably have this um, a couple of beans and some rice and I cook it all separately so it doesn't get soggy you know and then I just add it all and mix it up for them Okay, and they might get a little bit of mince in there just to make it a flavour it a bit meaty. It just helps them eat it better. But one day in the future they may become a hundred percent vegan, but I'm just not there with them yet. So probably sixty percent of their diet is fruits and vegetables. Um, and uh, probably twenty percent of their diet is grains like oats pasta or you know they don't get this very often at all but it is just something different and rice and um 20 percent and you know 10 maybe 15 percent of their diet is you know animal products okay so only five percent i don't know whatever um okay so now for breakfast okay the type of fruit I give them, this is just an example of the type of fruit they get they get all different types of fruit they get papaya uh, pears, they won't eat oranges, okay, and they don't like pineapples much, but sometimes they will eat a little bit of pineapple, so just whatever fruit's in season, okay, generally what I do is I just chop up fruit in season for them, sometimes I add a little bit of raisins, just a couple of raisins, maybe, maybe not, these are their raisins, sometimes I add a few little dates, chop them up, and then I'll add a bit of rolled oats, like, and just make like a just a mix of veg, just a mix of fruit and oats and a couple of dates or whatever and I just squish it up in my hands and I'll eat that for breakfast. And uh, like I just bought these the other day, they're on sale because my parents sometimes give them little pieces of bread which annoys me because it's processed but I thought well they really like that so maybe I could like buy these for them and give these as a little treat sometimes you know as a texture thing because you know bread doesn't really have any flavor but they seem to like it so they must you know I thought if I get them these are you know something different they must like the texture of those maybe okay so they're just organic corn things anyway so um so yeah and like yesterday afternoon I baked them these okay basically I had a lot of overripe bananas so I just 
chucked bananas, dates and oats in the uh, food processor and I just grinded it all up and then I just put them in a just put the mix in a dish and baked it for 20 minutes and I got these okay so just give them something different because it's all about texture differences you know as well as the flavor okay so yeah that I'll probably give them these for breakfast this morning so that's it that's how I feed my dogs and I know some people say oh you shouldn't feed your dogs raisins but I'm telling you like I don't think you can believe what doctors tell you like <laughs> or vets like because you know look at what they recommend like pro animal protein and you know dairy all that bullshit for your health and that bloody kills you so like you know I just don't believe what they say about diet what they just sell dried like like vets just want to sell you their dry processed fucking dog food with heaps of vitamins like processed vitamin supplements and shit in it just fucking Frankenstein food so I just reckon anything's better than that shit for them you see as long as it's like natural and it comes from the earth I think it's fine because I've the guy buying bananas off he reckons the dingoes on his farm live on bananas you see so you know yeah anyway so I reckon that's that's a better diet than what most dogs get and I say it's a healthier diet than what most kids get fed too so anyways well I hope this was interesting and thanks for watching I'll see you later